Finances, finances, finances. Organization, editing videos. I need to clean my room. Here's the thing, is I have so many great ideas that I wanna do now, I wanna produce, but I have to do the things that I have to do. <laughs> I just wish I was a kid and I could just make things. Oh snap. I just feel like I am wasting my mind on things that aren't building upon what I want to fashion. And what I wanna fashion is more theoretical. Here's the metaphor I'm thinking of. Or a key. Society wants keys? Society wants keys. But the thing about keys is they are specific. It's easier to take this type of metal, this amount of metal, and form it into a shape that is usable. To reshape it into a different, for a different keyhole, would take some time and reorder. I'm trying to shape this just hammer where I can just like plow down doors. But in the meantime, I can't open any because I'm having to fashion this hammer. What do you think of when I say technology? You probably think electronics or software, but technology are ideas. Technology are ideas implemented. This is technology. 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 This is food. I just ate a... I need to figure out how to make money from just giving up ideas. Because I come up with a lot of great ideas. Thoughts can be technology. Ideas can be technology. But thoughts turn into ideas. And those ideas are technology. An example is uh, in politics. Uh, political theory are idea technologies. We take ideas and we implement them. We write things on paper, we have laws. We, these aren't tangible things, but they are technologies. They're social technologies. They're political technologies. And that's what I've been developing, are these social, political, ph philosophical uh, technologies that I cannot capitalize off of. I feel like my true value to society is being taken away from society. That's why I want a sugar mama. That's why I want a hot sugar mama. Has all the money. And she can, she can do whatever she wants to make that money, or just to provide that money. And then I can just sit here all day on my ass and think. That would be the life. But it's also a possible idea. Are there any sugar mamas out there? You have to be cool with my birthmark. In fact, this is like, this is like, Society is hypothetically whipping me. I conceived that burden. It doesn't actually exist. It's a frame. And I like that frame because I feel like it's, it's, I feel like my life's unfair. And I like to identify with that because it's a reason for, it's, it's an excuse. It's an excuse. All these things, me sharing my discontentment, me trying to build a case for my discontentment is an excuse of why I am a failure. I think that's a valid excuse, but that's not going to change anything. The only thing that will change, the only thing that needs to change is my frame of mind. Step number one, reframing the magnitude of my debt. If I reframe the way I think about my debt as tuitional or um, debt I've occurred over learning, then it seems less dramatic past 10 years have been my school, and now this this is my thesis. This is my final thesis, which will get me out of debt. I really think I can adopt that view of seeing marketing, seeing finances, seeing the whole system as a game. A game that I've tried to avoid, a game that I've made excuses for, a game that I am willing to take on. I shouldn't be punching you. I'd be punching technology. Thanks for giving that to me, society. I 
love you. Fuck you. I love you, but fuck you. I love you, but fuck you. I love you. Gift card. This was a gift card. Thank you, Bale. Hundred dollars. I'm not gonna use the last three dollars. Fuck you, American Express. Bank of America. Thank you for the credit. Thank you for the monthly fees. Fuck you. I love you. Providence Health Insurance. $2,400 this year. I love you. Technology. I love you. Access to health, care, and prevention. But fuck you. My identity as a citizen. You give me so much. I love you. But fuck you. More bank cards. Fuck you. I love you. Reframe.